Hey guys, it's Jeff Five One Eight here. In celebration of the release of Dawn of Planet of the Apes, I'm going to let the inner animal come out, as seen by this little mod. Woff. Okay, enough of me being stupid. Oh wait, forgot. One more thing. Rough. I'm the king of the pound, bitches. I do my top ten anime animals. That The only thing they make the list is if they're animals, and if they're only animals. So, let's get started with the list. Number 10 is Ponyo. I know what you're all thinking. I'm going to kind of cheat the list, but not really. I don't accept her before she became a girl. I'm accepting her as a fish, not as a girl. Come on, guys. You know me better than this. Uh, I like her because she's very charismatic, happy. Oh, what the heck? She's an animal. What can I describe? Um, she loves ham. That's one thing. You know, oh my goodness, oh my damn, I'm going ham. She falls in love with Sasuke, but her father is one of the kings of the ocean, which her and the little Cartman fish, to reference, you know, the nostalgia critic. I don't know why he called it in his review a Cartman fish, but I can see why. The cute little fish, and even though I substituted her for Cleo from Pinocchio, that's a Disney animal list. That's for a later review, but it's anime. But I chose the better, Ponyo. Number nine, Kyubei. This cat creature is actually from another dimension. Why do I like her? She's fluffy. She can make a contract with you to become a magical girl. And she's been through space and time. That's all I can say. Number eight is an old favorite. I'm taking you guys back to your childhood to so this one. Number eight is Ham Taro. The Ham Hams. No, they're not little pigs named Oink Oink. All right? That's not what I mean by Ham Ham, smart ones. Ham Taro was an anime series about the Ham Hams a group of hamsters that had little magical adventures in the little girl's yard, from climbing the house to finding the newest restaurant, the fave Oxnar and Bijou, those are other characters, but the one I chose is the one himself, Hamtaro, our main character. He's so cute because he's adventurous. He's cuddly, he's nice, and he's a hamster, and reminds me of my hamster. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cuddles! <laughs> Number seven is Krikirara from Inuyasha. This is actually a cat. She's a saber-toothed cat with the power of fire and is Sango's best pet. I was going to say Shippo, but he doesn't count because he's a fox and a boy. Uh, I was going to make a gay joke, but I got nothing. I was going to make a what does the fox say, but that's already been done, and that's, I don't care about that song anyway. Kirara is a saber-toothed cat demon that she rides as a pet. She's cute. She's cuddly. If you piss her up, she burns you with her fiery fur. Kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, back to dog. Rough. Hmm. But anyway, let's get let's get moving to an animal that's part of the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That's right. We mentioned a primate pet. We're talking about number six, Bubbles. Bubbles, come here, Bubbles. <laughs> you know from Dragon Ball Z. If you know who this little monkey is, he was helping Goku train on King Kai's planet during the Saiyan saga. This cute little monkey is happy, dim-witted, but always having fun with his master, even Jiminy the Cricket. Not Jiminy Cricket, although he is kind of an animal too, but, you know, ah, who cares. I like Bubbles because he's a funny little monkey, and he's always scared of people catching his little furry tail. Because he gets scared because he might die. Poor Bubbles. Everyone's favorite queered eye little monkey. I don't mean gay, I meant just curiously funny. So anyway, number five, Happy from Fairy Tale. How could I not put this guy on? This L seed is actually, this, N, this XL seed is pretty cool. He can carry you on a flying. He can fight back with magic. And he's, you know, he's Natsu's best friend. Happy is, you know, happy. I mean, he's a happy cat that can fly. And that even though he drops, he gets tired when you carry him, he's always there to be a pal to save the day in a world of magic. Unlike another show about magic. Come on. Okay, number four. Akamaru from Naruto. He was best friend and helpful art in the ninja craft. Even though he does get hurt in the series, it's good to know that this little puppy is willing to fight alongside his master, Kiba. And he's very helpful. Also likes to bite a lot of people in the leg because he's a puppy. What do you expect? He's a dog. He, he teethes. It's teething. It's when dogs have to chew on something before they get used to eating food. That's how all dogs are. Especially my dogs. You know, they... I remember they used to bite me and bite my arms when I was a little kid. That hurt like hell. But, you know, I got over it as I grew over and they became best pets. So if you're a ninja and you need a dog, Akamaru is the dog for you. 
Number three is Totoro. 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 All right. Totoro is a cat demon, a cat spirit that's in the shape of a mongoose cat. He's happy to help anyone out and help with the harvest of grain. His ability is to help things grow and harvest come together. He's a fat cat, fat cat mongoose thing, a fat cat mongoose that has fun, but also a guardian of nature. So if you need help with gardening, if you're ever in the fantasy world, if you ever do, find this big guy growing trees and you'll be happy. Number two is another old favorite. Gong, please. Uh, thank you. Ryoki. He is the cat owner of Sasami. Actually, she owns him. As part of the series, he is a spaceship. Yes, a cabot. If you don't know what that is, think about it. Cat, rabbit. A cabot. Yes, he has the looks of a rabbit and a cat. He can hop like a rabbit, but has the cuteness and meowing of a kitty. But this cat is no one you don't want to mess with. He turns into a giant battleship and armed with the teeth with weaponry. Man, talk about portable pets. If I had a ride in a spaceship, I'd take this little guy for a ride anywhere. As long as it's away from the airport. And I am happy. Plus, he's cute. And you gotta feed him carrots. Although, another thing he can do is also help out, you know, with, you know, Washu with the experiments and Ryoki, Ryoko using him as a dumb vermin, even though everyone in there, including Tenchi, loves him. Because, come on. He or she, I don't know what gender it is, is a cabot. It's adorable, loves carrots, doesn't kill mice, it's just happy and adorable. My number two spot. Number one anime animal of all time is... Um, drum roll, please. Pikachu from Pokemon. Yes, the original OG pet. I know he's a game character, but come on, he's an anime character also. He has his own anime, and he's Ash's best friend. All the time you use him in Smash Brothers... All the time you use them. Pikachu is probably their mascot. Pikachu is a Pikachu. If you don't know what it is, then I'm sorry. You have no childhood. Pikachu is an electric mouse. They use electrical attacks from its, from its little cheeks. Yes. Whenever you see a Pikachu, it's got these things. Little red cheeks. And when it goes, Pikachu, it zaps people with electricity. Including Ash, which I always laughed every time. Because Ash could not take care of Pikachu. But like a good owner, Ash is always... Careful with Pikachu. The two become best buddies, owner and pet alike. He's a Pokemon that has gone through a lot from the Indigo Plateau, from a, long, a lot of movies, video games, anime especially. And he's, I think, my favorite, and obviously my favorite Pokemon of all time, one of my top five favorite Pokemon, and my animal for my top ten anime animals in celebration of Donald Planet of the Apes. Pikachu is number one on my list. Ugh, stupid hair. Well, anyway, before I take care of this flea problem, watch the sequel, Dawn of the Apes. Don't monkey around. There. This is J5 Sayonara. And remember, keep your pets neutered. They love you, Fred. It pays to their balls. Bye-bye.